hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and in this video we are going to learn about the assembly route so last time we have created the parts many 3d parts in the uh, part modeling and we learned how to create a part how to dimension it and how to proper fully define it in the solidworks so in the next step we will start with the assembly a basic assembly you can say how to assemble the parts how to create them and assemble it together with the proper uh, what you can say constraint right so let's get started so first we click in the assembly so when you click uh, there will be something like this a uh, window open and it tells you to browse the parts so i have some different parts like this so let's say if i'm opening this a brake caliper right so yeah i am in the assembly now so before getting into the difficult level assembly i will explain how to create the parts and how to assemble it in a simple way so let's say uh, first we we will create one rectangular portion uh, this will be easy to explain the assembly mates so i will i am creating the simple parts let's say i have created one this uh, rectangular portion and i'm saving it to the for now i'm saving it to the let's say uh, assembly okay and i'm naming it something like part one that's all now if you want to directly move to the assembly from the part so what you can do you can just click it here and make assembly from the part right so i will click that and yeah you are done here so you can see that my arrow have some part assigning right so what you can do you can just click here and your part will move here so right click on it and it is a fix so you cannot uh, drag it anywhere so what you can do you can click the float so part can move anywhere so you can pan the part anywhere in the space right so i am fixing right here okay now it is fixed so in the assembly there should be a fixed part so that you can move other parts uh, accordingly so if you want to create a copy of it what you can do you can simply control and drag it like this so you will have a same part which is created over here now if i want to assemble this with this part so what you can do you can go to the assembly you have the mate option here uh, there are many advanced options are there but for now we will learn the simple mate assembly how to do a how to assign the proper mates so i'm going with the mates and yeah you can see that there is a coincident parallel perpendicular tangential and also concentric and locks are there so we will go step by step so this is the con uh, coincident where you can coincide in the edges or faces like this and i am selecting this and these two faces now you have applied three mates which is which will be directly visualized uh, in the feature manager tree where first coincident between two faces and now this component is totally locked what if you want to move in this direction right so what you can do you can just delete one mate uh, you can delete this mate and i will assemble it again right so i will move this here and i will use now edge to edge this edge and this edge is coincident right now and this face is this face now okay so what you have first one is the face which is not denoted before so i am deleting it second one is my edge to edge and third is this face to this face so what it will do yeah so you don't have constraint between two faces so that it can move freely in this direction so this is how you can give a mate of a coincident right so coincident means uh, jointing two part together joining process of the part right so this is the coincidence mate i'm deleting it okay now 
now if you want to apply the parallel way parallel is the this one so if you want to make two faces parallel you can apply this way this one and this 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 way right so these are parallel there is no distance or distance concept or a coincident concept or that so you can make parallel and it will be locked see so just like these two faces are only parallel not a coincident that's why it can move from here to here so this is how parallel mates, mates are working i am deleting it now my third mate will be perpendicular if you want to make this face a perpendicular to this or this face perpendicular to this so what you can do you can just click on a perpendicular and select the two forces which you want to be uh, uh, getting perpendicular there are no such constraints uh, that's why the faces are getting something like this but what if i want to make a proper uh, perpendicular so what i will do first i will do this coincident okay it will automatically select a coincident okay then i will make a two two faces coincident okay now you can see there are uh, this degree of uh, degree of freedom is changing so what you can do this degree is changing so you can fix it by a perpendicular now so if you measure it here between two faces you can go to the evaluate and measure so you can see there is a 90 degree of angle is there okay now we have one mate which is the tangential mate for tangential mate we have to create one uh, circular portion so i am using top down assembly right now insert component to go to the new part and click it here and you you will have the empty part is there so you can edit the component okay now i have created now i will sketch on this portion maybe yeah and i will select one circular portion create features and extrude this okay so i am done with my top down assembly and i will float this so you can see this is a circular object and i want to make a tangential to this surface so what you can do you can apply the tangent weight to this surface and this surface okay now i want to make this surface and this surface to be tangent okay and i will make a coincidence to this and this okay there are some external references are there because i have created part over here that's why if you want to uh, break the part so whatever you can do you can just break all the external references are there so now my mate, mates are working so wherever whenever you got the problem of a mates you you can just simply go to the part and click on the external references and you have to break the uh, uh, bonding between them right so they will not marry to each other okay now we will jump on the another uh, mate which is a uh, very useful to mount the bolts in the holes so in the shaft also so this is the concentric let's have it what is the diameter of 177 okay i will create one part uh, this is the part i will add the component and i will use the assembly pane right now because i don't want any external references in that so what i will do i will create one part which is higher than the 180 i think 180 is enough and i will take 200. okay i will create like this okay so now i will hide this for now i will hide this for now now if i want to make a concentric to this object right so what you can do this is fixed and this is fixed so you cannot make two fixed assembly I will give an example. Let's say I want to make a concentric to this, uh, to, but it will not happen because both are fixed. 
So there are some restrictions are there. That's why it's called uh, parametric uh, software. So I will make it a float. No, yeah, you can see that this is fixed with uh, that two faces. That's why it is not moving. Otherwise, uh, it is in a floating condition. So what I will do, I will select the mate and I will go. either you can choose an inner one or outer one. Both you can select. And this is a cylindrical and this is cylindrical. Okay, so you understand how my uh, external references are working in context break. Okay. Now it is happening. You can see that. So this is how the basic assembly works. And also if you want to provide the distance and angles, you can apply, uh, right? So how you can give that? Actually, you can select two faces and you can unlock the dimension. You can also flip the dimension as well. So if I want to make it like 20 inner side, 20. And if you want to rotate the object in this direction, you can flip that from this. But I don't want to make this happen. So I will click it. So mate alignment also you can choose to flip the object and also distance and uh, for the angle also there will be a same methodology of selecting two faces or two edges where you can give the different kinds of angle. So this was the overview of a basic assembly. In next video we will be having an advanced mate which is having a profile center, symmetry, weird, linear and linear couplers. Then we have a mechanical one in which you can apply the gears, apply the slots, rack and pinion, screw, universal joint. So we will learn that in the future video. Till then, uh, if you like the video, keep sharing, keep learning. Thank you. Thank you so much.